Just when you think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is down, he's dead and he's buried. Manchester United come out comfortable, supreme, confident winners. 3-0 away at a really, 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 and I, I re reiterate, really bad Tottenham Hotspur team. It was like watching Manchester United for a lot of this season. Today, United needed a response. Right, I'm going to do this match reaction, stick with it the whole way through, because there's obviously some real questions we can still ask after that. But there is a lot of positives you can take from that. And there was, a, there was so many questions about that game today. Is Solskjaer dead and buried? After that Liverpool game, I still feel there was irreparable damage done in that game. But today, we switched to 3-5-2. Varane came back in. Ronaldo and Cavani started up front. 36 and 34-year-old Cavani and Ronaldo started up front. Manchester United in that first half. It was nervy. It was tentative. And Man United, and it, and it really looked like a game that was going to finish 1-0. I'll be completely honest. A lot of nervous energy in that, in that game. It was called El Sakiko. And you heard it at the end with the, how Spurs fans felt about that performance there from their team. But everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people expected Manchester United to go out there today and sort of repeat what happened against Liverpool for it to just be... No collective unit, no team performance, no individual. I suppose you could have individual moments there. But today, what we really saw out of possession was a far more collective unit from Manchester United. Now, things are obviously going to be a bit easier when you play 3-5-2, 5-3-2, 3 at the centre-backs, two wing-backs, and you're playing Spurs. Spurs were crap in that game. App C-R-A-P. Capital letters crap. Um... And it helped United, of course. You do that against Liverpool, it might be a completely different game. But I want to talk about the positive individual performances there and the overall collective team. We just got a clean sheet, ladies and gentlemen. I fucking forgot what one of those looked like. I'm not talking about in my dual bedroom. Uh, seriously, United got a clean sheet today. Varane, as I said, it helps that you play in Spurs. wan Saka, I thought, played very, very well at, at right wing back. A man who doesn't really get talked about with his performances when he plays badly, when he plays... No, he does when he gets played badly, sorry. When he plays good, no one really speaks about it. Today, impressive. But we have to talk about Ronaldo. We have to talk about Cavani. We have to talk about Varane. We have to talk about Fred and McTominay midfield. As I said, this was a game where... Look, I thought Solskjaer was... I th when, when it came into these 10 games after the international break, we had Leicester, we had Atalanta, and we had Liverpool. I said these next 10 games will define Solskjaer's career as a Manchester United manager. And it started with a 4-2 defeat against Le Leicester. An abysmal first half against Atalanta that got turned around with this, one of the best second half performances you'll see from United in that 3-2 win. And then the humiliation against Liverpool, which will never be forgotten. And I thought that was Solskjaer over the edge, that he was past the point of no return, that he had been to the brink and got pushed over the edge against Liverpool. Maybe I underestimated how far that brink was. How close to rock bottom we really truly had to get before the players turned around this time. Because we have been here before. All right? There are lots of positives we can take out of that game. There really are. But United aren't going to play 3-5-2 all season. That's the first time in 50 games since our 2-0 win against City at Old Trafford that we've played that formation. That formation there was a team playing for a manager who is in the trenches, who's wounded in the corner, and the collective unit just stands in front of him, guns out, knives out, anything they can hold on to, say, you know, know what, we're fighting for him. We're here. But they're in the trenches and they're wounded. The Man United... We're not playing that 3-5-2 all season. Absolutely not. Solskjaer's been building towards a 4-2-3-1, sorry. And today was a diversion away from that tactic because shit had well and truly hit the fan against Liverpool. United could not afford to get dominated like we did against Liverpool. And credit to them and credit to the team, they didn't today. We played as a proper unit. Out of possession, there was aggression, but it wasn't just like random aggression. It was, it was good pressing. It was good style. There was a cohesive unit everywhere. People were doing the jobs together rather than individuals and then someone else not doing their job and leaving space. And that allowed United to have a real control of that game that we just haven't had before. As I said, Spurs being crap really did help. Want to reiterate that. We're not going to play Spurs every week. Could we do the same thing against City? Although City did just lose 2-0 to Palace. We've actually just taken advantage of Liverpool dropping two points against Brighton and City losing at home to Palace. What are we, like... We're like five points behind Liverpool now, like two or three or something behind City. Mate, football, bloody hell, seriously, bloody hell. And so many, I personally expected a response from United today. I didn't quite expect United's response to be as um, all-encompassing. If I Is that the wrong way to describe it? You let me know what you think about that in the comments. But Cavani has to, 
And that's the thing I'm pissed off about. That's my caveat to all of this is, yeah, we saw changes there today, and we've, but we've needed changes in this team for weeks, arguably for months. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has remained stubborn. Fiercely stubborn to that 4-2-3-1, to Fred and McTominay, to everything that wasn't working before. Stubborn. Today, felt like a bit of a free hit. Because everything was against Solskjaer, all the odds were against him. I suppose the odds weren't against us. Everything was against, the, in terms of momentum-wise, going into that game, everything was against us. Everything was against Solskjaer. So it was a free hit to switch it up, to change the style, to bring in something new, bring in something fresh and see if it worked. And it did work. Are we going to do that going forward? No. We're not going to switch to a 3-5-2 all of a sudden. Not unless Antonio Conte comes in. And we're going to go back to the 4-2-3-1 at some point. So I don't want to jump on this and get hype. Get... I'm not going to jump on this and not be happy with the win. Buzzing. You know, I just won 3-0. Ronaldo's finish. Are you... Ah. Mm. Filthy. And the ball from Bruno. Filthy. The second goal. Ronaldo, lovely play. Both goals, incredible. Pass from Ronaldo through to Cavani. The little dink over from Cavani. Oh my God, I love watching Cavani play for United. The third goal, lovely. Rashford got two runs ignored by Fred and by Lingard. And the third one, Matic saw it, feeded the ball through. Rashford, culture finish into the bottom corner. Boom, love it. Yeah, you're damn right I'm going to enjoy watching United playing football and fucking winning games. I haven't watched, enjoyed watching United too much this season, so I will enjoy that. But at the same time, I will put a caveat on it. We've been here before, man. I've been here before. And United have done this before. And I thought, the Br I thought, as I said, I thought Solskjaer had gone past the, that brink with the defeat to Le Liverpool, with the defeat to Leicester, with the, half, the first half forwards against Atalanta. But maybe I was wrong. Maybe we really had to reach a new rock bottom here before United clawed back up that ladder. Because we clawed up it to lay 3-0 winners. Our best win against Spurs, away at Spurs since 2007. Our first clean sheet in like 20 games. Ronaldo, incredible. Cavani, fantastic. Fred and McTominay, I thought, as, a, as an aggressive pressing central midfield partnership, did well today. Really well. McTominay, especially. So much better as a box-to-box -box player. Varane, adding a new solidity into defence. Wan-Bissaka, I thought, played well. Shaw, was a, eh, Shaw wasn't as good. I thought Wan-Bissaka outperformed him. But after the Liverpool game, it's a nice tonic, right? It's nice to have that. For, a lot, for some United fans, not a lot of United fans, be like, they're, they're going to be pissed off that United have won there. Because it doesn't take Solskjaer close to the sack. Get out, man. You're not a United supporter. It is simple. I don't care what you say about short and long term. You do not understand. You do not truly support your football club if you can ever want your football club to lose. Simple as that. But what, well, what's next, eh? That's what I want to ask you in the comments. Because I'm still hurting from that 5-0. And that hurt will not leave at any point this season. And that 3-0 win doesn't, doesn't close that wound that was open last weekend. Sure, it, it puts a couple of stitches in. But just like uh, Solskjaer being safe from the brink before, that was like putting plasters over the wound, which eventually reopened. How does this game here, how does that performance there start and marks the beginning of something new? I've always, I've said all week that I believe Solskjaer's future is out of his hands. And I think the club is simply biding time to, to allow them to try and find a replacement. Now, those plans are definitely happening now behind the scenes. These contingency plans, finally, because the club's an idiot. And the border incompetent. They should have already had these plans. But they're drawing them up now. Now, if Solskjaer goes on to start winning again, fine. Good. United are starting to win. Look, we're going back up the table. Had we lost today, ah, oh, Jesus, it would, have, it would have been game, set, and match. It really would have been. But we haven't. For me, it doesn't save Solskjaer's job. In my opinion, anyway. Uh, but in, in reality, it probably did. But it doesn't change how I feel about Solskjaer. It doesn't change how I feel about this United team. That wasn't how United play. We don't play in a 3-5-2. That was us in the trenches with bayonets, with rifles, with bricks, with everything that we can fight people off with. But at least I saw that attitude today. I've, met, I've not seen it enough. We've nobody seen it enough. Where has it been? And why does it take United to get humiliated against Liverpool for you to play like that? Players and the manager. That's the... That's the thing that's holding me back from really enjoying that 3-0 win. Because I really enjoyed The goals were fantastic. A lot of the football was great. We hit. Spurs are crap. Absolutely crap. And that certainly helped. And I've said that like six times now. But what's your overriding emotion from that game? Solskjaer ultimately was saved by Ronaldo and Cavani. Had we not won that game today, maybe it really would have been 
game end game for him. But I don't know how that game there it, uh, lays a blueprint for what comes next. For me, it's a one off, and we'll probably play the same formation against City. So these two three games are sort of one off games, really. Uh, and because we beat Atalanta at home at Old Trafford, we're like in a we only need a draw away from home now. So that game will probably will go there with that formation again. 5-3-2 here on the counter-attack. Because United are good at that. And United have done that very well under Solskjaer. We've beaten Chelsea, City and PSG with that formation. But what's... But we wanted change, right? We got change today. We've seen change today. And Christ, we did. We just got a clean sheet. We, we got a clean sheet, ladies and gentlemen. And we won 3-0. So the change was there. But that, for me, there was, as I said, a trench warfare win. Chips were down and the players responded. We've been here before. How, how does it change going forward? What is next? Let me know what you think about that. Enjoy the win, man. Enjoy your Saturday night. Go out for your going Halloween. Have a few beers. Do it. Enjoy it. United are winning football. That's what we all want, right? But how does this change things going forward? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you uh, Subscribe to United People's TV. It's a really interesting game. There was a lot of nervous energy going into it. United came away 3-0 winners and Solskjaer needed it. But what is next and how do things change going forward? Let me know what you think in the comments.